All right, Victor, thank you. Also new here at noon, a $2.5 billion investment in electric vehicles and batteries. It means new jobs for us here in Michigan. The federal government is giving a loan to Altium Cells. This company will receive the funds to build new lithium-ion battery manufacturing plants here in Lansing, Michigan, along with Ohio and Tennessee. Business editor Rod Maloney joins us now live from Dearborn, where former Michigan governor and current energy secretary Jennifer Granholm was here to make the big announcement. Good afternoon, Rob. Yeah, good afternoon. You know, this is a uh, coordinated effort, basically, is a public-private partnership. You've got the federal government expending a lot of energy trying to make sure that we have supply chains and chips and also for batteries. And it's offshore for the most part. They want to bring it back here. And so the Energy Secretary, Jennifer Granholm, came to town today along with Senator Gary Peters, uh, Senator Stabenow, also Ray Curry, president of the UAW. And they were talking about this along with Ultium, which is a General Motors company and they are giving the two and a half billion dollars just to the Ultium company to build these plants as a way to try and enhance the industry uh, here in Michigan and here in the United States. So let's hear from Energy Secretary Granholm and also Ray Curry talking about what this can mean in terms of job creation. We need to have jobs that workers want to pursue and that they want to train for and that they can grow in. That supply chain requires droves of workers, and they are literally jobs that did not exist in this country before. These are parts of the supply chain that we're building entirely from scratch. We need to again commit to American jobs, jobs here built in the USA, products built in the USA, and a commitment for growing good paying union jobs. Now, one of the things they pointed out is that at Ultium in Ohio, the plant that they're working on now has about a thousand jobs and that membership voted for union representation last week. And Ultium is saying, OK, that's fine. If that's what you want, that's what we'll have. But they also have government support in this. And the energy secretary did say that there's a 10 percent kicker if, in fact, they go ahead and have union representation. And so uh, General Motors is clearly on board with all of this and wants to move forward with it. They want to electrify their vehicle fleet by 2030. They're saying they can do that. And so there's a lot of money to be made, a lot of work to be had. And so therefore, that's what this strategy is all about. Now, the question, of course, is how many people will buy an electric vehicle? We'll see where the take rate is. Reporting live in Dearborn, Rod Maloney, Local 4.